Welcome to Cat's Tutorials, and in this video, I'll be doing practice problem 12.5. We're given a delta y connection, and we're told that VAB is 240 with an angle of 15 degrees, and the impedance per phase was at y is 12 plus j15 in ohms, of course, and we're asked to find the line currents. So I'm just going to draw a simple diagram just so I explain the formula. This is a quite simple, this, this problem is quite simple. So just to show how this formula was, was actually uh, formulated, this formula is actually formulated, that's funny. Okay, so there are quite uh, a few methods which you can actually use to solve this, but I'm actually going to use one of them. So we're told that it's actually a delta. So it's, there's something on this side, it's a delta, but let's focus on VAB, which is in this loop, which we want to look at just now. Have ZY in that loop. We also have another ZY over there. And we have this current IA going there, and we have IB over there, which is going that direction. And what we want to do is to actually find a formula which we, we can use to find what we're actually looking for, which are the line currents. So I want to find a formula for IA, IB, and the others. But as you know, for three-phase circuits, we can just basically find one, one value, and that one value is going to help us find the other values. So we know for sure that using this positive sequence, if we have IA over here, if we have IA, let's say it has an angle of zero, then we know that IC would be 120 degrees more, and we know that IB will be 120 degrees less, which is IB will be 120 degrees less, and IC would be 120 degrees more. So after finding our IA, just going to use that same magnitude of IA, so this is IA, IA is just that, and then IB is basically this, IA with an angle which is 120 degrees less, and IC is basically IA with an angle which is 120 degrees more. So that's what we're going to do. Now we're about to find the formula which is going to help us to find our IA going around the loop in this direction. We're going to have negative VAB plus ZY IA. And if you look at IB, it's going that direction, which means when we come to it, at that point, it's going to be negative. So you're going to have negative ZY IB is equal to zero. Now let's group the terms and see what we can do from there. So now grouping the terms, we're actually going to have here, we're going to have ZY IA subtract IB is equal to VAB on that other side of the equation. But I just showed you that IB is 120 degrees less the angle of IB is 120 degrees less, but it has the same magnitude. So here, you can just say this is equivalent to ZY IA multiplied by 1 subtract 1 with an angle of 120 degrees less. Now converting this into polar form, which is one subtract that, you're going to have something like this. Square root of 3 with an angle of 30 degrees. That is equal to VAB. So this is basically what you're going to have. And we're interested in finding this value, which is IA. So your IA is ultimately going to be equal to VAB divided by, so your VAB divided by square root of 3 with an angle of 30 degrees, which means you you actually have this at the top as negative 30. You can leave it at the bottom, doesn't really matter, just that this has an angle of zero, so zero subtract that will basically be lead to this kind of angle, but you can just leave it at the bottom, doesn't really matter. And also you have this uh, ZY, so ZY, everything just goes there as it is, right? So your IA is ultimately just this, so substituting your VAB, so VAB, we know our VAB, it's given to us in the question as, as that value over there. So you just basically say 240 with an angle of 15 divided by ZY, which is also given to us as 12 plus J15. And you have square root of 3 multiplying that and with an angle of 
30 degrees, so it's an, it's an angle of 30 degrees. It's still at the bottom, so the sign doesn't change. So just punch this into your calculator, and you should get a value of IA of 7.21 with an angle of negative 66.34 degrees in amperes. Now, that is the value of IA, but we now said IB would be the same value, but with an angle which is 120 degrees less, and the result of that would be 173.66, the negative direction, of course, that would be your IB. Then finally, your IC would be 120 degrees more than this angle of IA, which means 120 added to that, which will give us a true one with an angle of 53.66 degrees in amperes. And that is how you basically solve this problem. If you already knew this formula, you could have just substituted everything into this formula and you're basically done with this problem. If you like this video, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel.